This video is harder to watch. By far the worst video parties that we've done. Clickbait. That was just dumb. This guy is an idiot. All tools for the job. Okay. You know, I'm flattered, folks. You know, it's it's weird to be in a position when other folks, I, I don't like being the center of attention. I am by nature because of my business. I, if I was standing in front of you, I've said this before, I would stumble over my words. If you saw me do this in one take, that would be incredible. All the <laughs> outtakes, me saying the wrong thing repeatedly is, uh, is pretty funny too at times. But that's also because we do a lot of these videos not with a script. Sometimes I have nothing at all. Sometimes I have bullet points I wanna at least talk about uh, and kind of go from there. So um, there's bound to be mistakes. But one thing's for sure is that we don't try to waste people's time. I, I wanna educate, I wanna give value. And I, I think a lot of folks out there it's not a common theme with YouTube, right? It's all about clickbait and, um, you know, grabbing somebody's attention. And while I certainly want to do that, I want my videos to be viewed. I'm trying to give insight into helping new tractor owners or existing tractor owners, maybe looking for a new machine. Um, you know, it, it could be anybody. I mean, you never know a circumstance. You're not always trying to put yourself in a, in a certain scenario and see what happens. And so if you can see somebody else do that and get your answer, that can be helpful and can be an education in a, in a different kind of way. And so sometimes this flies right over people's heads and that's okay. Um, they don't all understand. Some of them are ignorant. Some of them don't care some of them don't like me for whatever reason it is and so there was a a whole thread on green tractor talk dedicated to one of my videos about the 1025r that i'm sitting on right now failing me and some saying it was the operator that failed and not the tractor and that's semantics i mean you can you can dissect that however you want to the reality is, is i've put this tractor in many situations when i thought it would fail and it didn't it still succeeded right and, and big challenges for big tests big jobs whatever it is and it still pulled through and so in those scenarios the tractor was successful it didn't fail and so it's it's fair to say that putting it in a different challenging situation did fail all right and that was intentional and this video in reference was going down a muddy lane that i have on my property there's no gravel there on purpose. Um, I've talked about this if you follow my channel. We graveled up near the front, uh, wanted to try not graveling this lane if we could um, for aesthetics purposes, right? It's nice to have a two lane drive on your property and in Michigan that's a tough thing and we found out pretty quick that it turned to mud and part of that was because we had so much traffic up and down that lane this year. My barn was being finished off on the inside and the outside everything else so we had insulation guys out here had the lighting guys out here had the the finishers out here um propane guys all sorts of contractors in and out for months on end that didn't help matters and so that rutted up the lane really badly i mean i'm talking ruts to bottom out the axles on this tractor so it couldn't go anywhere and so we just went out that day to make a snow clearing video had no idea it would it would fail i didn't Actually, I didn't think there was any chance of it failing, to be honest with you. So I had the snow pusher on the front, rear blade on the back, trying a different setup. We waited for all the snow to fall down, right? To make it more dramatic, to show this is what this little tractor can do. But we set it up <laughs> in a pretty difficult set of circumstances. And so you can learn from that as, as an operator to not get in that scenario, right? To, to tackle, if you're gonna use a small tractor, to tackle certain projects and smaller bites. Don't wait for the whole snowstorm to come down. Get out there every three, four, five inches and keep it clean. You know, there's always things that happen, but it's just how you use the tractor most effectively to be successful, and that was a way to not use it. So we go out with a plan on what we wanna do that day, shoot the video, and then sometimes when things go differently than planned, that becomes the theme of the video. We have all this content, we're gonna put it together and show you it's, it's informative either way. So anyway, this thread, 100 and some comments on it. I'm gonna go through some, I'm gonna kind of cherry pick some of my, I've, I've browsed this, I haven't deep dived, dove, you know, like this, plunged into all of it, but I'll go through it, learn some things about my business, learn some things about my setup out here, learn some things about our videos, and hopefully enlighten you. Didn't watch every second, but comments kind of self-serving considering he is now promoting some Korean tractor brand. Okay, well, the Summit tractor was a bigger tractor 
which was an afterthought. Chris wasn't even here at that point. He went home. I was like, well, I've got the, the snowblower on the summit. Let me just go give it a shot and see what the heck happens. Whip up my phone because it's working and add it on. So that's all that was. Um, it's also self-serving, I guess, because guess what? I sell snow pushers, rear blades, all sorts of other stuff for tractors, canopies, you name it, I sell it, right? So that's self-serving comment right there too. It's a business channel. This is not a personal vlog. My channel exists to create content, to promote my business, but to entertain, add value to. Cody, Courtney, flattered to be mixed up with Whistle and Diesel. But uh, anyway, has more and more clickbait titles. No, I don't. I, it failed me. That was, that was not clickbait at all. Makes me want to unsubscribe, do it, unsubscribe. More of this in the Summit promotion over deer. Interesting. I, so when I see value, my opinion is not allowed to change. I have to stick with what I thought before and nothing can ever change from that. That's not how life works. Bigger is always the answer. No, it's not. I just did a whole video promoting smaller tractors like the 1025R, like the Summit, like the BX, like uh, other subcompacts and small frame compact tractors. Smaller is a great option for many folks. Anyway, you get the point. We make videos showing different tools in different scenarios because maybe you already have a rear blade and you wanna see what else you can do with it. Maybe you have a snow push or you wanna see how it handles a bigger snow, whatever it is. I've dealt with Courtney on other things. He seems a decent guy, but using tools for the first time during a significant snowstorm on a questionable road surface, not putting much credence in his frustration in this case. Well, you don't know unless you try it. Otherwise, how else would you know? So that's all I'm doing there, tree potato. This was by far the worst video Courtney has ever done. He could not have failed at this any worse with all the effort it would have taken. <laughs> he honestly made himself look like a fool in this video. I've cleared snow like that with my 2025R and snow pushed and cleared it like a champ. He made this look a lot worse than it should be. You know, what can I say? You're a better operator. Um, oh, good one. Hey, some support. For the ones that know better, he was definitely showing the ways not to use a snow pusher or rear blade. You learn really quick. Always leave yourself a way out. For deep snows, only go forward, then back up. Yep, good stuff. Video was hard to watch, no common sense. He turned a simple task into a nightmare. Using the word nightmare, that's kind of clickbait right there, buddy. Uh, wrong implements, poor driveway design. It's not a driveway. Lack of planning and patience. There was snow to push. We were trying a new setup and it didn't work. So I'd say that gave plenty of good feedback for other folks watching. Ah, good one. I'm waiting to see if he makes a follow-up video on the negative comments he gets. Then he'll set you guys straight. <laughs> I'm not looking to set anybody straight. Just share some insights. Good one. I like this, Jay Gay Man. Jay Gay Man. Most of the videos on that channel are painful to watch. Well, I appreciate you coming back time and time again, Jay Gay Man. One would think after spending so much time with all those tractors and implements that something would rub off. Instead, it's pretty much a library demonstrating the wrong way to do things while wasting huge gobs of money. What huge gobs of money am I wasting and what am I wasting for anybody else? You folks out there learned what not to do. I can show you the, we just made a video doing things the easy way with the Kubota, the 2,596 inch snow pusher, everything went smooth and nobody watched it. You guys like to see things go wrong. And so just because I push the limits and, and see what can happen, doesn't mean that it's clickbait, but it appears that's the kind of stuff you guys like to watch. Trav says, why didn't he push a path through the center first with the back blade running in reverse? Well, I started to do that. That's part of the thing too. We edit videos, right? So we show clips and then we skip forward and show more clips because you just don't want to see the whole single thing. Some of it's bad angles, it's bad video. It's just it takes too long to get from point A to point B, whatever it is. So we kind of condense it all into the good stuff. But he says, why didn't he push a path through the center first with the back blade running in reverse? I actually started out doing that and didn't get anywhere. And so I tried something different. Oh, more of the same stuff. Nothing much interesting, but this is, uh, this is good. I really appreciate you guys caring so much though too. Why would you even mess around with a little tractor when you have a bigger tractor and a skid steer sitting in the shed? He's just making YouTube content. Videos like this probably get more views. Uh, well, that's true. They do get more views, but I think that's partly because that's my core business, our smaller tractors. And so that's the content that most folks have signed up for to subscribe and watch and come back and recognize me for. So when I make a bigger tractor video or right behind the camera is my skid steer, there's less of an audience for that. Um, it's, you know, just a different 
different transition or different area there that doesn't get into. So I use the smaller tractors because I sell all these attachments. They're easy to ship. There's a big market for them. So many owners. That's what I've kind of entrenched myself within. And so that's what I want to show you guys what works and what doesn't. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. I have noticed he has a nice shed on the property. Thank you but there's a nice John Deere zero turn sitting outside in the snow. Well, that John Deere zero turn has been in the shop time and time again. It is nice, but it's a problem child. But as I just explained earlier, this whole place was getting finished off. And so there's been equipment that's outside. There's still been, there's still a, a lift right over there. They're still doing stuff all around here and to constantly time and again, take things in and out. is just too much of a pain. So some of my equipment is sitting outside right now. And for the record, like every tractor dealer in the world out there has the equipment sitting outside too, it, it's gonna be okay. PJR832, again, he also has an arsenal of snow removal equipment better suited for this task. Yes, I do. Funny thing is all the good comments he got for doing that video. People saying, thanks for showing us what doesn't work and how well implements work in the snow. Yes, those are the people that get it. Always thought of him as a pretty honest guy trying to make a living. Sometimes his videos suck. Yeah, for sure but that can be said of anyone posting JD videos. Okay, all right, fair. Cut them some slack guys, but burn them for this video. And again, I wouldn't use any of those attachments for snow, for sna, for sna, S-N-A. Boring, 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 find any good stuff. Yeah, pretty sure in a vi previous video or post, he specifically said he's trying out a variety of tools and techniques. Thanks, Hedge Warden. Yeah, you follow along. Mm, blah, blah, blah. Hey, good one. C-M-O-U-A. C-M-O-U-A. Any equipment, I think, can be out of its class if you don't know the limitation and how to use it. For the most part, a 1025 with a blade or a pusher, if it's all you got, you have to keep up with the snow. Exactly. That's the point of the video. You can't let it get up to where the snow is above your blade or equipment or it'll make it a lot more work. So, you know... If I was gonna power through that, I, I, I could have done that eventually, but there was just a, you know, there just wasn't a point in doing it. So I could have gone out, got this tractor and, and handled it, handled it with anything else, as you can see in the video. Thank you, Black Bayheart. Video was to show what did and what did not work for that snowfall. Yeah, for sure. If you wanted to move the snow more efficiently, that cabbed up Kubota would have been my first choice. Definitely. And I did that in a follow-up video. So watch that, folks, if you want to see it done right. He mentioned it was going to be a, a dollar sign H asterisk T show. Yeah, that's right, Dan. Silly Bear has a whole book that he wrote, but he doesn't, he doesn't get it. Hopefully he gets it after, after watching this. At first, I thought this was one of those here's what not to do videos. Yes, exactly right. This guy's an idiot. Wrong tools for the job. You know, same, same kind of stuff. I'm into marketing and sales. Yes. Again, this is a a business channel, the more comments on a video, the more YouTube tells other people to watch it. Not, not necessarily. We do giveaways once in a while. We just did a giveaway actually on a snow pusher. Um, let it run basically the whole month of January. That video had 1,500 comments on it, which is about the best odds you're ever going to have of winning something like a snow pusher. One out of 1,500, that's pretty darn good. But that video only did normal. We got like 33,000 views on it. You would think a normal video that gets, like this Kubota video that we just did recently had 120 comments. The Snow Pusher giveaway had 12, 13 times that, so it should have done 12, 13 times better. It didn't. It is only gonna do about as good as this Kubota video will in the same amount of time. So comments don't do a whole lot of good. Thumbs up don't do a whole lot of good. Thumbs down don't, right? I. I I don't know what do, does a lot of good with YouTube. It's a mystery that I can't figure out. Super Glide Sport, good comment. Just about anything that everyone has here is better than what I started out with as a teenager hanging around an auto repair shop. One of his winter jobs was using a 50s Dodge Power Wagon to plow the parking lot, church lot down the street, and a few commercial lots in the neighborhood. You're darn right about that. I don't see a pull type blower working on a small tractor. Well, I show a pull type blower in the video working on a small tractor. The Summit TX25, it did the exact same thing. and and. The point is you have to, if you just take the labels off 
It doesn't say Summit on there. It's just a tractor, and you have to look at the fact of the weight, the size, the ground clearance, all of those come into play. And so it could be a Kubota that's bigger. It could be a John Deere that's a little bit bigger. It could be maybe a 1025 that has way more weight on it, potentially. You know, it doesn't have the ground clearance, but maybe even that alone makes enough difference to get the traction. The point is you got to look at these things outside of a box and and I've said many times, I don't care if you buy something from me or not, right? Most of you guys watching don't buy something from me. And I've come to accept that fact and be okay about it. So it's just free entertainment that sometimes is taken too seriously. But look at it in a way that gives it some education that you can maybe reference to somebody else that's like, hey, I'm going to get this tool and give this a crack at it. Well, hey, before you do, see how this is set up and if that works or not, because that's the whole point of YouTube is you can see what works and what doesn't and share the information and become smarter every day. And more and more comments here, nothing, nothing much. They start to go off track after a while. Full type blowers, there's pros and cons in this video. Guys for it and against it, they don't understand. It's not what this video is about though. Yeah, so really that looks like it's about it. So hopefully you guys learned some things about uh, my business, about the videos, why we do them. We do them intentionally to show you things, right? And uh, they're not all gonna be easy peasy, you know, that does it. You know, you get a lot of flack from, from bigger tractor owners, you know, like the big ag farmers farming thousands of acres saying these are just garden tractors or lawn mowers and they can't do anything. So if somebody only looks at that information, it's like, oh, maybe they're right. I need to get something bigger. And then they wind up with something too big and they can't do a lot of the jobs they wanted to around their, around their yard, around their house because it's too heavy or it doesn't navigate well or they, they can't tow it to their property because it's too big and they don't have a, a trailer or a truck to haul it. And so there's big trade-offs all around and you want to know what it can do and what it can't do. And I think we do a really good job of doing that. And not just me, but the cameraman, my brother behind there too, who edits who does the drone work, who does all that stuff. We put it all together to try to do a good job of both entertaining and educating. So, thanks for posting that on Green Tractor Talk. Keep on posting them. Maybe I'll make more like that so you can post it because that does help my view count, right? <laughs> that keeps it going up. And I don't care, there's haters out there that you just gotta, you just shrug them off, right? So, it's just part of life, but if you do enjoy my content, I'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button that's right down below. It's completely free. You can see when things go right, when things go wrong. I do have biases, but I also try to be unbiased and be fair. And the equipment that I sell and carry, I'm very selective of. I want nothing but the best for my customers because that makes my life easier. So that's a selfish reason to look at it, right? But if my interests and your interests align, you need equipment, I sell equipment and make money, but I don't want problems, I want satisfied repeat customers, then then we're in alignment there that I'm gonna try to find the best stuff that's out there. High quality, great features, affordable price points. So go to goodworkstractors.com, see what we have for sale. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. We offer rewards, we offer financing, and again, free shipping to 36 states. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.